What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. And on this lesson, we're going to look at some picking and strumming techniques for beginner guitar players. So when we first start out picking up the guitar, I know what kind of struggle it is to kind of get the right hand up to speed. We put so much effort in learning scales and chords where our right hand sometimes struggles to keep up. So hopefully some of these little tips and exercises can kind of strengthen up your right hand picking and strumming ability. All right, so we're going to start we're going to start with picking. All right? And don't overthink this one, but when you pick out chords, you always want to pick in the direction of your next note okay so that means if i'm picking the fifth string and my next note is on the d string or the fourth string i want to pick down towards that note and vice versa if i'm picking the say the b string the second string and my next note is on the d string i want to pick up towards that note all right so you always want to pick in the direction of your next note all right so you can also use these exercises to help your left hand learn these chords, okay? So I'm not going to go crazy. I'm going to assume that you're working on some open position chords like E or maybe G, C, A minor. And maybe some of you are struggling with bar chords. Okay? So if you already are comfortable but not quite there with your bar chords, you can apply these exercises, these picking things to those chords, okay? For now, I'm just going to play a simple E minor chord, which is a open low string, 2-2, two, two, with my second and third fingers, and then all the rest of the strings are open. Okay, like I said, you can apply this method to any, any chord that you know. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to pick up and down. Super simple, but we're going to focus on our right hand and picking direction, right? So if we're going to do this... Okay, pick in the direction of your next note. So when we pick the, the low E all the way down to the B string, those should all be down picked. And then once we get to the high string, since the note after the high string is the B string, our second string, we want to pick up. We're going to reverse it, pick up, and pick up through those strings. So the E through the A are all up. Don't repeat the low and high E strings, okay? Down, up, down, up. Okay? Now, you can look at your right hand to kind of get you started, but I would focus on learn, keeping your eyes on the chord itself. All right, this way you kind of visually memorize the chord and what fingers go where and what frets. And also, when you pick and you're looking down here, I know it. Um, you're not going to pick it up on the camera, but try this at home. When you pick through, you'll actually see the strings vibrating in about this area. And you, the, you can use that to kind of aid your vision. Okay? So that was super simple, just straight up and down. Now let's do one where we're going to skip strings. Okay? And this is where our, we're going to kind of pick down and up, down and up. We're basically going to play every other string. Okay? So we're going to go 6, 4, 5, 3, 4, 2. And then we're going to pick all the way up. Like this. Okay? And since we're always picking in the direction of the next note we're going to play, it's going to be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay? And like I said, regardless of what chord you're applying this to, it doesn't matter. You can, if you're still using your open position chords, do that. If you're working on bar chords, you can use those chords as well. Anything to help two things at once, right? Kill two birds with one stone. So now let's do the same thing but reverse it. We'll pick all the way down through the strings. And then once we get to that high string, we're going to go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, skipping every other string. Okay, so those three exercises alone should help get your picking up to speed, or at least get it started, okay? Now, I want to talk about strumming. Everything we play as a guitar player is rhythmic, okay? It's rhythm in nature, so our rhythm has to be strong. And we want to, as quickly as possible, start internalizing those rhythms. 
Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with say basic chord note and eighth note rhythms and sixteenth note, that's okay, but we can at least get a head start with our right hand. Okay, so usually anytime you're playing downbeats, quarter notes, and I'm going to play dead notes, right? For those of you who don't know what a dead note is, just lay you lightly lay your hands across the string so they cannot ring out. And they call those dead or muted notes. Okay, so anytime we're strumming downbeats, say quarter notes, we want to be going down. Right? Down beat, down strum. Anytime we start strumming eighth notes, which incorporate upbeats, we want to strum those down and up. Simple enough, right? So, we, so if we're playing a measure of quarter notes, a measure of eighth notes, it would look like one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Okay? Not too hard. Same thing if we're playing with, say, eighth notes and sixteenth notes. We, all, we always want to keep this hand counting, essentially. And it, it helps us keep us in time, and it helps us accent upbeats and downbeats. And next thing you know, you'll be internalizing where upbeats are throughout the measure, which is going to enhance your rhythmic sensibility, maybe? All right. So one common strumming pattern you see a lot in pop songs and you know acoustic songwriting songs is uh, this rhythm. Right? Something like that. That rhythm. Okay. So you're basically playing quarter note, eighth notes, and then you're tying over a note. So if you watch my right hand, I'm going to keep my up and down motion going. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to strum down, but I'm not actually going to hit the guitar, but I'm staying in time because my right hand is essentially counting. So it's... So if you notice right there, I missed the downbeat. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and... Okay? So it's a great little exercise, a great simple rhythm to kind of get the idea of this down. And it keeps our hands synced up with the time and in the rhythm we are playing. Okay? So if, if you want the tabs for these lessons so you can see them and, and try to count and everything, you can find the link down in the description. There'll be PDF and Guitar Pro files in there for you. Okay? So I hope these lessons, these little tips help my beginners out there. And as always, let me know what you come up with. So until then, I will see you next time. Thanks a lot.